welcome to this Windows channel and this is a tips and tricks video for those that want to create a Gmail account. A few little pointers and how to actually create a Gmail account if you wish. So why would you create Gmail accounts? There are several reasons. Okay, First of all, for email purposes, your Gmail account will be a email that you'll be able to use and if you are only using a uh, email from your internet service provider well this is a better email because you are using cloud email here with Gmail which means if you change your internet service provider you'll never lose that email it's always going to be available also the ease of access of a cloud account which means the email is available everywhere around the world also all sorts of things can be linked to your Gmail it could be uh, if you have an Android phone your settings you can sync your settings you can do all sorts of little things that are unique to Gmail in Android if you are of course even on an iPhone you can sync calendars you can sync the Google Calendar you can sync your own uh, you know um, contacts and everything even on an iPhone also if you use Google Chrome as a main browser well having a Gmail means you can sign into your browser with that Gmail that means all your settings in Gmail in the, the Google Chrome browser are now actually synchronized in, the, in the, the cloud. So if you actually have a new computer, reinstall Chrome or have multiple computers, your browser experience will be the same everywhere and will sync everywhere, which is very, very cool. Also, it opens up you know, the world of YouTube if you are or think of eventually becoming a YouTuber or just participating in you know the chat room when there's live shows Gmail will actually open that possibility also so how do you get here well first of all it's very very simple if you go to google.com or google.ca in Canada here or google dot whatever in your country when you click Gmail on the upper right corner you will have this page that's gonna say oh create an account and that's all you need to do you create the big red create an account button follow the instructions little tips here first of all before you fill out anything else start by the username you want in your Gmail account now this is probably the hardest part for a lot of people in not understanding why what they are uh, actually searching for is not available so people sometimes you know as a tech guy I've seen that often uh, people want I don't know uh, purple monster uh, at gmail.com and they say well it's not available so of course if you you know try purple monster and check it out it says it's already taken and that's because there's hundreds of millions of gmail accounts that means before you already millions of people have chosen a username and very often the username you want is something that might be used by somebody else already so be creative uh, you can use a mix of maybe your business name or your personal name or uh, something you know that your cat's name your dog's your dog's name whatever and do a mix of all of that that is not too too long but that actually will at least work sometimes you know like purple monster maybe I will say hey 2017 this is the year and uh, it's already taken but there's the chance it could not have been taken and so try to be creative and for example my first name is Jill I could do Jill purple monster and check it out oh it's available so you know it could be Steve's purple monster whatever and all in one word of course and once it says okay that's available that's the first thing that you need to know just take note of that email because it's not only your email it's your login username then of course answer the name first last up to you to use a real name or not um, personally I am a fan of using as much um, you know real information as possible but there are things where sometimes you can okay what do I do here for example birthday you might not want to give your real one um, things like that sometimes you know what I'll often say is well put your first name you know if I put Jill there's millions of Jill around the world it's a French name uh, in the last name you don't have to put all of your last name you could put just one letter 
So if I, for example, my last name's first letter is L, I would probably put in most of them uh, Gilles, and then I would say L, and it will show up as Gilles L. So, you know, it's not complete, and it's possible. Uh, so there are different little things like that that you can answer. And of course, uh, remember that that information can be asked for security reason in the future. Remember everything you enter here. And your password, make sure it's a complex, at least 10 character long password, mishmash of letters, numbers, and everything. And if you have a mobile phone, I do think you should enter your real number and put it here. I understand a lot of people will say, well, why should I put my mobile phone number here? That's because for security reasons, if you ever lose control of your account, well, that's one way they can actually recover that account. Also, if you want more of your um, you know, protection, more security, you can activate in Gmail two-factor authentication. I have that on all my accounts. That is really cool because that means with your phone, you can uh, receive secret codes or just, for in my case, with my Galaxy S7 phone, I just answer a prompt that says, are you trying to log into a Gmail, your Gmail account? And I'll just have to tap the yes button on my phone, which makes it even more secure, especially when using a computer that you don't use usually. So that's how you do it. Follow the instructions. At the end, you'll have a fantastic Gmail account and you will have the possibility to do a lot of things with it. So this is the little tips and tricks for today. How do you actually create a Gmail account? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.